Hello there, this is Oliver from E2 Save and this is the latest video on the Samsung Galaxy S2. It's the world's thinnest smartphone and I'm going to jump in and not waste any time in showing you its prized possession. It's the screen. It's the world's first Super AMOLED Plus screen. So you can see right here how bright that is and from each thing you can just see how quick it is, how smooth and how lovely it is. So just to demonstrate this, I'll take you into a video and just get you recognising how beautiful this is. So let's just drag this along to a, a nice part of it and just experience it. So as I'm holding this, you've got three external buttons. So you've got the volume controls, in which I count as two, and then you've got the power button. And at the bottom here, right here, you've got your charger port, and that's about it. So, as you, you can just experience how beautiful it is. Right. I'll just leave you as that now then. Right, so, apart from videos, this is also a great smartphone for other features. So, some sort of really kind of thought about things with this. So, for example, instead of doing your pinch zoom that you've got on the iPhone and other smartphones, you've got a different kind of zoom. So, if I click into this picture of a football ground, turn it round, if you put two fingers on, you can tilt your screen in back and forth and it will zoom in for you. So, if you want to see that goal come in, you can keep zooming in it will take you there. So I think this is Anfield for all you Liverpool supporters out there. I'm not one of them. And let me just take you out there. Um, also with the camera, we're talking about pictures and the screen at the moment. Let me just find that camera for you. Right. I think it's the first time that Samsung has done uh, a camera where you can pinch and zoom whilst you're on the camera. Not just the picture, but on the camera. So that's quite a nice feature. So I'll just take you out of that now. Another nice little little addition, so if you click on the screen, you can pick which widgets you want. So if I do that, I can pick this widget to put onto the screen. And if I move the screen round, the gyroscope will take that round with me. So I can select which screen I want by just moving the screen, which I think is fantastic. It's a nice little, little addition that Samsung has put in there. So... Um, Talking about other applications, so you've got your usual emails and stuff like that and normally with an Android device you're, you'll get it through synchronisation but with this, like a Blackberry, it's a push email so this is great for your battery life so you don't have to mess around kind of waiting for it or your phone having to waste power synchronising so that's a great, great addition to it all. And then we've got something which I'm quite fond of, which is the voice command. So if you're in the car or you're feeling a little lazy, you can just tap and speak. So for example, I'll go for it. Text Ron, message, how are you? And what this does is it just does what you want and it will do it for you. So I've got that, how are you? And all I have to do is click send button and I can check how my friend Ronick is doing. So that's lovely, and I hope he's all right. So let me skip backwards. Um, another thing that you can do is go onto the applications. And although it's an Android phone and you can have your Android Marketplace apps, what Samsung has done is they've got direct hubs to what they think you need. So you've got your social hub, which has got all your feeds from your Twitter to your Facebook. And they've also got your push emails synchronised into there, so everything's in one. Then you've got your music hub, so you can put your iTunes on there or download any songs that you fancy. You've got your reader hubs, so if I click in there, you've got news, books and magazines. So with news, I've got The Guardian right here, so I can just see what's going on in the world of The Guardian. And that's telling me what it is. So it looks like just a normal newspaper page. And you can just squeeze up into that and it will take you into it. And it's very, very readable and it's just great for on the train, on your bike or on your skateboard. So that's quite good. Um, and then the other hub that you've got is your games hub. So you, instead of downloading such apps like Angry Birds, you can download games which have been made for this Super AMOLED Plus screen, for this sensitive gyroscope. So you can get the most out of your phone with that games hub. So... Um, 
All in all, I think this is a great phone, and with the camera being full HD, 10 HP, um, 1080 HD, um, you're laughing when you're videoing, you can watch any kind of film, it looks fantastic. It's got an external memory card to stick in next to the battery slot. Right, I've been Oliver and this has been the Samsung Galaxy S2. I hope you have a nice day, farewell.